My name is Erica Miller. I'm the Director of Communications for the Austin Humane Society. My name is Sarah Hamill, and I'm the Shelter Manager at the Austin Humane Society. I basically um, run all the public relations and media coverage for the Austin Humane Society. Um, I oversee our adoption department, our volunteer team, um, and uh, a lot of our animal behavior and enrichment programs. Um, we have a lot of visitors that come in um, mostly wanting to adopt. We do about 4,000 adoptions a year, um, so making sure people are here to meet their, their right pet. On a daily basis, we intake anywhere between probably 10 to 30 or even more um, animals, depending on the time of year. But then we also run a really large spay neuter clinic for feral cats. Um, and so we bring in almost 5,500 cats um, for spay neuter surgeries and medical care um, through that as well. So we say we, we serve about 11,000 animals a year. Austin Humane Society was founded in 1952, um, so this is actually our 65th anniversary year. Um, we started as a really small little shelter down on Congress Avenue, um, just with a couple of kennels, and we've grown into a much larger facility. Our adoption process is pretty straightforward. Um, we encourage people first just to come in and browse around. It's really important to look at the animals. Um, and, and look for that personal connection. You know, you might just be walking through the kennels, somebody catches your eye. Um, we have people fill out a short application um, and then we tell them about the animals. So we let them know everything we know medically, behaviorally about them, where they came from, what they're like, um, allow them to meet the pet. We encourage them to visit for a good, you know, 15 to 30 minutes, you know, play with some toys, give them some treats, really interact to see their personality come out. Um, and if it's a good fit and the animal's already been spay neutered, they can go home that same day. Um, so we do, um, on an average day, uh, anywhere between 5 and 25 adoptions. It's, every day is a little bit different, um, but generally our staff comes in bright and early and the first thing we do is we clean all of the animals' cages um, and get them out. Uh, the dogs all go out to potty in the morning, um, get them fed, refresh their bedding. Um, you know, they are messy, especially the younger animals. The puppies and the kittens tend to be really messy. And so our, our biggest goal for the day um, before we open is to make sure that the shelter looks clean and smells clean before the public come in. Um, and so getting everybody kind of taken care of in the morning is our first step. Um, and then we open for adoptions at noon. And so then we kind of shift into a more like customer service, um, helping people meet pets. And then in the afternoon too is also when we're making appointments to intake new animals. Um, so we might be having another shelter bring us a group of animals, an owner surrendering their animal, um, somebody returning a pet that they adopted that they can't keep anymore. Um, and then our clinic is really running all day long. They're doing medications in the mornings, they do surgeries during the day, and then they're also dealing with um, anything that comes up. So if a volunteer reports that an animal looks like they're sick, um, our vet techs are going out taking a look at it. The, our veterinarians are out on the floor all day long doing exams, taking animals back to clinic. Um, and so it's really every day is a little bit different, but um, those are kind of our biggest goals. We took in um, almost 500 animals over the course of our Hurricane Harvey rescue, mostly dogs, cats as well. Um, and while many of them have been adopted um, out and, or reunited with their owners, we do still have a number of Harvey animals um, up for adoption here. Um, we do a newsletter, both printed and electronic. I write all that kind of stuff. I also oversee all of our online giving, which happens on a daily basis. Um, and then just deal with any media inquiries and um, appeals and giving days and things like that for the Humane Society. Yeah, so if you need more information about volunteering, um, you can sign up online. Our website is www.austinhumanesociety.org um, and there's a link on there uh, with all the information about our volunteer program, how you can register to sign up to come to an orientation for walk dogs, like cats, uh, help in our clinic, all sorts of things we need help. Tons of stuff.